you actually have with Tupac? With Tupac? Uh, well, I lived with Tupac for a few, like maybe like two weeks, and we just tried to, we tried to knock the album out. Uh, we did an album called One Nation, and we was trying to, you know, we was, we was working hard at it every day, every day, every day, and um, Pop had went to Vegas that time, and I think that's, that was that was during the time that he got that he got killed, and it was, so we never was able to finish the, uh, the One Nation album. How many songs did you know? We did about 10 songs, maybe about... Have they all come out? Uh, they've, they've come out, but different ways, like... There's been a lot of songs that they stripped our vocals and put other people on. I'm sure, and then got put on an album here and there. And then I put on an album, yeah. And I was, I was, I was more happy. again. Whatever, whatever was for the cause. I'm the type of MC that's for the cause. So I'm glad that that you know. Do you were going to the uh, the mix the online mixtape awards? Jump they're not called the online. The, the, oh, that's the, what it said on. That was the website. Or maybe that's because it's the website. Well, it's just the mixtape awards. Just those mixtape awards. How do you feel about your outfit being on video? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Why would you do this to me? You know I'm a fucking celebrity. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Can we get your outfit? <laughs> My outfit's awesome. Your new shoes. Yeah, those are fresh. And I think that that's I'm gonna like clean them the up. Whole, They're gonna be great. I, I felt like. All right, I'm a celebrity. Just so everybody knows. No, I'm kidding. There's literally so many bad DVDs being filmed here. It's incredible. You hate to add. You hate to add to the to the process. But, DVD but, I, but this has to be documented because this is an episode of hip hop curb enthusiasm. Like what's happening here right now, the level of absurdity, the people representing things and giving shout outs. It's like hip hop hell. I'm sorry? Uh, also, guys, real quick, it was a shitty day for news today. You know they're trying to sabotage our man Obama. Please don't let that happen. Please don't fall for the bullish. And actually, while we're at it, please make some noise for my man Barack Obama if you're supporting, if you're down for the call. They're going to try to do anything they can. High haters. High haters, exactly. Shout out to Mino. Showing up for work on a Friday. This is the day when Saif and I meet to discuss what's what. I'm actually on time, so I shouldn't get my balls busted for that. But, you know, a lot of people want to know what uh, everyday life at Hot 97 is like. Being Peter Rosenberg, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take you on a, an adventure. There's Shawnee Culture. Hey. How would you describe my reputation at the station? I would currently describe your reputation at the station as something that is uh, quite profound, oh, upstanding. Don't lie, this is um, reality rap. This is reality rap. Oh, it's pretty shitty. I mean, so now we're gonna walk in and see how see how I'm greeted, probably with cheers. Oh, hey guys! Oh, YouTube. YouTube, Come on. hold on, Pete Rosenberg, uh -oh. YouTube break, uh -oh. Street of Hallway, Come Cast on, One, man. Big Ben, Bobby Trent, Mr. C. What's your name again? Paul. And the one and only Paul. Chris. Chris Nadler. Peter. And the one and only Chris Nadler. <laughs> What's happening, guys? We're chilling. Is this live, yeah. buddy? Yeah. Have you guys have you guys ever heard people on the station talk about me being late regularly? Have you ever heard that? Late? No. Yeah, that's one of the nicer usually? things. You're late now, aren't you? Didn't no, I'm on time. Our meeting's at three. Late for? No, we, just late heard, for what? we just heard about you putting people in the figure four, uh, the figure four late. Oh, line. not people, fat bastards. <laughs> wow. Fat Mexican bastards. Getting it I did get it reversed. Hey, that's our boss right there. Gangster. Oh, go man. fucking shave, yo. What the fuck you filming me for, fag? Yo, don't drop the f bomb on YouTube. I don't think they'll bleep out the F word every time I say it. I will. Eh. You have nothing to do with your life. Why are, you, why are you always so bitter towards me? I like fucking with you, yo. You're such a dick. That's just totally... Damn, like you like this joint? You know what? <laughs> that shit is hot. It looks like a little... Let me see. Give me. Damn, like it's a burrito you snatched that. <laughs> Why does it have to be ethnic Mexican food? Because he's a know. fucking Mexican. Why does he gotta be a fucking Yo, what if I spin this like a dreidel, you jerk? How about <laughs> that? I'm impressed you know what a dreidel is. Yeah. Shut up. Dude. 
Why does your hair on your head go right into your back hair? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, no, no, don't film uh, no, 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 for YouTube. That's a fucking science experiment. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. It keeps going. It, like, goes oh, it, would, go all the way, it would go all the way down. It's the hair trail. It's going down. It would go all the way down. One day I want to have a uh, celebrity shave my back on the show. I guarantee you I'd get a hot Playboy model to shave my back on the show. That hard? That would be a great YouTube video. Maybe though. a penthouse chick. I'll do a Playboy. Penthouse would do any. Penthouse would wipe my ass afterwards. That doesn't count. Can I get someone with a brain over here? I'm sorry, Mr. Sanchez. And where the hell is Rosenberg? Stop, <laughs> Rosenberg. Damn, bro, you're looking good today. Gay. Yeah. Stop. You said you were a junior. I'm documenting our lives. Not in wow. junior high school. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, quiet on the set. Cypher sounds at Rosenberg. Take one. I feel like when guys videotape me, it's mad hobo. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's hot. Why are you videoing me? It's like I can jerk off to it later. Is that gay? Yo, it is 6.10 or so. I am in lovely New Jersey, heading to Belleville, New Jersey, for the Pro Wrestling Syndicate uh, show that I'll be doing commentary on. Left the station, got my balls busted a little bit. Planned out a good show for tomorrow with Scythe. Now I want to go do this wrestling thing. Turn it up. Jack Evans able to find himself on the ropes had the presence of mind somehow to be able to do that. I... Listen, do not forget it. Jack Evans and Teddy Hart are both veterans. Legends of Stu Hart's Dungeon. These are guys who've been through everything in pro wrestling. Teddy Hart, of course, a developmental wrestler for the WWE. Jack Evans, the, the, the fiercest. Is that a word? Not Most so fierce? Fiercest? Most fiercest. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh. Nearly a three count for Jack Evans right there. Teddy Hart kicks out again. This is just this is absolutely intense. Absolutely amazing. Jack Evans. Teddy Hart's really close to that side. Oh, he got his knees up. Ladies, he's available. You can't pay for that. Right. Oh, totally. So, like, ideally, I'd be like a random shot. I know, right? Boom, we'll Give a random shot. shot. I know. Just hold that and pray to God that the YouTube picture stops so right that's there. Good. Well, that's good. All right. Yeah, that at least gives us a chance. Okay. Well, at least gives you a chance. Tell him you're wrong. Oh, but it should be good. Wait, you can take that picture and you can take him whacking my butt. Yeah, we have that. We got plenty of stuff. We got a lot of stuff. What happened with the key? You take the keys from there, sitting inside, and over there. You got them over there when they're on the bench. Nah, we gotta go get them. Let's go back. Okay. Your car. Hey guys, I'm gonna black at you all. Peter Rosenberg in the streets of New York. Flip cam files once again. I'm um, walking down the street. And this is the best thing about living New living in New York City because I'm walking. It's the Tribeca Film Festival going on right now. So you always run the chance of running into Sir Dame Dash. What's really good, Dame? Everything's really good. What's going on with you? Yo, I apologize for the very hood style on the street interview. Um, what's what's going on? You do, you doing any film things at this uh, this year at Tribeca or no? I mean, I had a movie that Mariah movie. I got an executive producer credit on, but um, you know, it's kind of quiet this year at Tribeca. You know, I, I want to do bigger movies and stuff, so I'm trying to like save it for the for the, for the major motion picture films that could gross a hundred million and shit like so that. So you're not trying to do the, the indie the indie ish? Well, I always need it just to establish my brand and make sure people. Understand. <laughs> 